What's up everybody, watch a step back with the second part of the Vladimir walkthrough. Now the second part of the walkthrough, we're going to get through the second part of the order that needs to be carried out from Vlad, as well as a few other items along the way. So, we're going to go with regarding your orders to carry out. Now, um, ask about the next order. It says we need to find five uh, chamomile flowers and then go to the western fields and we need to literally walk into one of those uh animalities uh that is just basically gonna do us damage but it's gonna put the herbs where we want them to now with this quest always check the quest because this one tells me i need daisies now i can tell you that i have done all different sorts of herbs with that so always check the quest to see exactly which herb it wants you to do um unless they've changed it the first time i did it it was the herbs from the swamp the second time it was daisies this time it's also daisies so we got to find five daisies scattered around nighttime is not going to help us but what i'm going to start off doing is i'm going to be checking this area down here this is the least trafficked area when it comes to other players, so we have a better chance of finding flowers, or the daisies, in the less trafficked areas. What we also have is a great possibility of finding boars and uh, dogs. So we're going to come down here and we're going to look for the daisies. Because we need five of them. Now, ironically, once you get the five, you don't actually use all five with the quest, and you can't turn them in, so it's going to be an item you basically just get rid of. But you still have to collect the five or it won't work. Awesome. We got a piece of wood, so we're going to be able to create another fire when we get enough meat, so we get the extra meat to give the Vlad. Now, when you create a fire, you can cook up to 12 pieces of meat before your fire burns out. Uh, anything other than that, you'll actually run out. Now, if you do have extra wood like we do now, you can actually put the wood back into the fire and uh, basically kind of, you know, restart the expiration timer on it, just like any other... Uh, fire ever in history. So my greatest fear out here is running into a boar. Uh, unlike wolves that take two shots, boars uh, honestly can sometimes take your full clip and still be up. All right, so here's our first daisy. Did I already? I already had four days. How amazing is that? Already had four daisies in my inventory. That's why you always pick up those herbs as you're walking around. Definitely helps out quite a bit. Oh, uh, that was just sheer dumb luck. I didn't even realize I already had four on me. So then all we got to do is you come up to this northern part of the field up here. There's going to be these, uh, the anomalies. I said abnormalities or whatever. The anomalies, there's one right there. We just r literally walk right into it. And that's going to give us our uh, anomalous. <laughs> Anomalous, whatever. Uh, and then once you get back over to this little path, uh, you're safe to follow the path back to the road and back to Vlad. So on the way back, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kill dogs because I know what happens in the next part of this. So 
I'm going to go ahead and find some dogs, kill him. We're going to get enough tails to turn in the first part of the quest to start to get the rep. Uh, plus, we're looking for enough meat that we can cook off to uh, turn in the meat portion of the quest. Right, so there's our first dog. Again, if you can get it to the point that you can get two shots off quick enough that the dog doesn't have even have time to move, easiest way to kill a dog. Uh, we got two coming up now. Alright, so that one's either going to run away or it's going to come back with some friends. So we're going to reload. We got the shotgun too. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, butchering these dogs. See if that other one comes back to us. So either somebody else killed the dog or that dog bled out. Now, if anyone's ever played uh, Hunter Call of the Wild, it ha these uh, animals, beasts, they all have a possibility of actually bleeding out. If they run away, they're most likely going to bleed out. Similar, which is a little hard to do, especially at night, uh, they do leave a blood trail. Now, if you don't follow the blood trail quick enough, uh, you're not going to be able to find it. So if I would have run after it right away, I could have followed the blood trail and we could find our dead dog. So how many tails do we have? We have two tails, so we need three more. Wow, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. So this is our fourth dog that we've killed. Uh, as you saw, one of the dogs did not have a tail, didn't have meat or anything else. So it's not 100% RNG uh, that you're going to be able to get a tail on every single dog that you kill. That's a log. Because I'm awesome like that. You see me just absolutely kick the shit out of that log. Now, the one thing that you do find a problem with killing dogs is that every now and then you're going to get another player that comes up and decides that they're going to start skinning and butchering your dog because you killed more than one and they know you can't do both of them at the same time. Now, if there's a quest item on there, such as the dog's tail, they're not supposed to be able to loot the dog's tail. Uh, we're going to go ahead and completely loot this one. And then bandages are eight, so I'm going to hit the band-aids up so that we can stop the bleeding. And I'm going to go ahead and reload the pistol.
So that is a little bit of a problem. I actually thought I pulled out the shotgun, but apparently it didn't. All right, so we need one more dog tail. So again, this quest right here, it is a repeatable quest. So we're gonna constantly be doing this quest uh, throughout this walkthrough. So those that are watching live, are gonna see me do it a whole bunch of times. Uh, those on, uh, that are watching this on YouTube, you're only gonna be able to see part of these um, because I'm not gonna put the entire, I don't know, hour and a half of me just killing dogs on YouTube, but I'm going to complete it once uh, and put it as part of this section of the tutorial. So when you run out of dogs over by the junkyard, um, potentially here there could be more dogs. We're going to go ahead and check in this area here. Uh, see if there's any more. But since it is an intro map and a lot of players die to dogs, I've seen dogs all over the map just from where people have run them out uh, away from where they normally spawn. I did see one person who actually took like five or six dogs over to that safe area, the blue line, and then died leaving those dogs right on where all the new players run. Uh, pretty funny. Kinda. Uh, we're gonna run down here. We're gonna get water as well because we're running low on food and water. And we have 13 pieces of meat, so I could also potentially cook up the meat. Uh, I'm gonna do that off the uh, stream just because it takes way too long. But then we just got to find this one last dog that still has the tail. I only got one point of experience for her. That's interesting. Not doing anything with skill points just yet. Uh, it's not going to give us as much of an advantage in the intro area, so... Looks like we might have a couple dogs over that way again.
again, if you can get it down to that, uh, when they're running straight at you, the quick double tap, the game, the gun's very accurate in this game. It's not like it's uh, like some of the other games, like you have the constant rocking motion and, you know, they're running at you, you know, in four different directions and they keep changing directions and everything else. It's pretty standard. They run straight at you. Uh, directly on the little pin on the very end of the gun it's going to be almost exactly where it hits so if you get it lined up correctly and you're a better shot even than me because uh, I'm not really that good of a shot you could double tap them easy way to make sure you don't have any uh, any problems with the dogs I mean just like zombie land always go for the double tap Just because of that, I'm probably not going to be able to post this uh, on YouTube. Hey, man. Oh, you broke rule number one. You told him. Alright, so, we went ahead and we got the flowers, we got the dog uh, tails. I'm going to go ahead and turn in the herbs. So it tells us we got to come back in a few hours, which in real life time is 20 minutes. So, this is where we're going to cut off the second part of the Vlad walkthrough. Uh, just because we have to wait 20 minutes, I'm not going to have you guys sit here for 20 minutes just watching me. So, uh, thank you guys for stopping by on the second part of the walkthrough. Uh, stay tuned for the third part of the walkthrough that we're, we're going to go ahead and do the third order. Uh, on top of that, we're going to turn in some other items to him so that we're ready to head out to Lubeck using Vlad as a guide rather than using the handcart. So, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day.